What do you uh, What do you think we're looking at here? My vlogs are fucking lit. I just passed 1,100 subscribers. Go! You fucking idiot! Sorry. Sorry. I knew I should have. I knew I should have brought Katha here, but she was too busy. And you, oh, you wanted to bring the clones back. Shut it. Well, it says here we're about 200 yards out, so I'm thinking. Uh, I don't know, nine iron? Is that good or bad? Pretty rough, pretty rough. But it's uh, it's all we can afford right now. Still broke as fuck. Yep. All right, nine it is. Be one with the ball. You can do it. Man, shut up. Shut up. It's great vlog content. No one gives a fuck about your damn vlog, man. <laughs> I love you too. Oh shit. Smart four. Damn it. Ah. Oh. Such a little bitch. Uh, I'm fine. You're a fucking ghost. Hey, you didn't kill anybody. You're a fucking ghost. I'm what? Holy shit. Dude, you're right. I'm a fucking ghost. Shit. Well, it's week 17 and I got a show to run. Can't hold me back from this vlog. Let's get started! Good morning and welcome to week 17. Thank you, thank you very much. We made it here right now. We are currently right there, that little mist. Is what is it, babe? Tell them. Northside Falls. Oh, is that what you call it? Shit. Anyways, guys, we're gonna do some kooky shit. Maybe even go to the casino later. <laughs> Try to win some funny money to throw out my lady. I mean, bitch. Hi, bitch. I mean, lady. I'm just gonna love you. Anyways, guys, we're here parked illegally, so we're probably gonna go to jail soon. So we need to get the fuck out of here. Welcome to week 17. Let's have some fun. Peace. Subscribe to the sixth round. Subscribe. Subscribe to my vlog. Thanks, guys. Yeah, they're all my fans over there. Don't forget to like. <laughs> My fucking head! I don't wanna hit the people! Son of a bitch! Hi, bitch! Like and subscribe, people! The new vlog's out! Six round vlogs for life! Subscribe! That's right. Bitches! A few moments later. We just came back from the casino, and you know what I have to say, babe? What? Show me the money! Guys, this is a big weekend. What? You know what? No, you're gonna tell it. What are we celebrating, babe? My birthday. And how fing old are you? I'll, I'll censor it, I promise. 29. You geriatric fuck! I'm not censoring that. You're just old as fuck. And uh, obviously, the bad news is we went to the casino and we didn't do too well. <sighs> tell them the news. We only made $205. Technically, we're still broke as fuck because I owe so much money. So really, we're like broke by like a little bit less. We're gonna party a little bit. You can't see this part because we're gonna drink and stuff that we don't want the kids seeing. But we love y'all. We love y'all. Hit the subscribe button, bitches. What the fuck you say? Wow. That's marriage material. Time to separate the men from the boys. You 
our next. Uh, that was hell. This. Because of my shoulder, I haven't been able to work out like that in like so long. Here's a little snippet. They were shit, but fuck you, you can't do them. And if you can, I'm so sorry. I was a killer of a workout, and even more so, a killer of a fucking weekend in Niagara Falls. I mean, you guys saw the footage. I hope you saw the footage. I mean, or else you're not subscribers in that case. Get on it! Now, who wants Frank Mir and Fedor Emelianenko this weekend? Look at the highlights. That fight was insanely quick and fucking crazy. That's because the fucking fight was 48 seconds long. I'm not impressed. I was like half right. I knew it'd fucking be first round, okay? Yes. Because Fedor is not a bitch. He's through. And you always know he's going for the kill. But I tell you what, that fight was kind of fun, but it also pissed me the fuck off too. Frank Mir, what are you good at? You're a jujitsu guru. Yes, you have some power, but you rubber Fedor. And as soon as you rubber him, you shouldn't have tried to box him like a fucking moron. Idiot. You should have choked him the fuck out. And you got what you fucking deserve. Goddamn right. But it's okay, Frank Mir, thanks for coming out. I'm gonna give an honorable mention. Ladies and gentlemen, I present a new fighter that I hate just as much as Conor McGregor. You lie! That's Dylan Danis. Dylan Danis? Dylan Danny's? Who? Who cares? Listen, you stupid amateur. Zero, zero until, of course, last Saturday, motherfucker of an MMA fighter. You fought a dude who was on a three fight losing streak. His record was like two and four. <laughs> Are you proud of yourself? That's like me getting my first subscriber and saying, I'm the best fucking vlogger in the world. Now, for the first time ever on Six Round Vlog, yep, best damn vlog around, we got our first ever Q&A. I told all you guys, if you guys comment below a question, I'm gonna pick three. So not a lot of people partaked. Le who? I'm gonna do five questions because some people did reach out to give me those fucking questions. Yeah. Why am I getting smaller? <laughs> Subscribe to <laughs> Here. Oh, I'm sick of that fucking guy. I promised you that we were gonna do a Q&A. So guess what? Time for the Q&A, motherfuckers. The six round vlog way. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to the six round vlogs, week 17. Give everybody a round of applause. Thank you so much for being here tonight. I hope you enjoy the show. Well, let's just face facts. Six round vlogs is fastly growing. We just surpassed 1100. Thank you. Sir, can you shut your dirty fucking mouth while I do this, please? Somebody get this bitch out of here. No, you're the. Uh, enough. We have just surpassed 1,100 subscribers. Uh, so before we close up the vlog here, I actually have time for about five or so questions. So let's start with you. Young, handsome, beautiful, gorgeous, attractive man with the most amazing smolder I have ever seen. Sorry, sorry, before you begin. Uh, Chris McGregor, are you related to Conor McGregor? Thank God. I was gonna kick your ass out of here. Well, Chris McGregor from Whitby, Ontario. Uh, which question? Fedor is as old as balls. He's like 107 years old. My question is, through all the wins and all the losses, how does a guy like Fedor stay relevant in this day and age? Well, obviously, as we have seen, he's done the most amazing of things. He's had the biggest knockouts, the biggest finishes. He's also had some of the biggest losses as of lately as well. In my opinion, what keeps him still in the picture, I think it's his mentality. I think what keeps him still relevant today is he actually just truly loves fighting. He respects everybody. He's not afraid of no one, but he doesn't look past anyone. He just lives to train. He doesn't succumb to all that bullshit, WWE type-esque talk that goes on today. I hope that's good. Did I answer your question? I didn't. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, Chris. On to the next one. Holy sh! Is that fucking Tom Selleck? Oh, Paulo Silva. What did he say? Nevadoru. Oh, Paulo Silva from Nevadoru. Go ahead, ask your question. What are your thoughts on the UFC doing an all-in-one night tournament style? Fucking best idea ever. <laughs> The only thing is, is with the doctors being so ready to just jump in there and stop the fight at any given moment, you got like a little bit of a cut here, or you're a little bit of off balance in your first fight, you can't continue. Which is why you see Bellator hold these tournaments, but the style is completely different. They separate it actually over the course of a few months. Which, which kind of sucks for us, but for the safety of the fighters, I probably think it is the best way to leave it as is. I have to look at it from the perspective of the actual fighters, the employees, it's their job, they have families to feed. Um, but hopefully that answers your question. Cool, thanks. I love your mustache. Next question. Holy f 
my celebrity crush, Michael Shuchuk from Evolve Year Zero is in the crowd. Yes, he's through. And it's a fucking lit show. Check out Evolve Year Zero or else I'll fucking kill you. Sorry, Michael, you had a question. In your opinion, is the Rampage Powerbomb still the best knockout of all time? Oh. I mean, I'm gonna have a really, really short answer for you. I'm gonna say yes. That is probably the nastiest, dangerous, and probably memorable slam to true MMA fans in all of MMA history. For numerous reasons. First of all, uh, Rampage was actually stuck in a triangle choke, and he picked Ricardo Arona, lifted him vertically over his head, and dropped him onto his neck. So hard so, unfortunately, because of that slam, he actually ruined Ricardo Arona's career. So undoubtedly, that's the biggest slam in MMA history in my opinion and I think the opinion of most people's we have time for let's let's do two more we have another question uh, yes uh, yes sir on tinder right there you the biggest change that I would make to the UFC for sure is uh, you wouldn't be able to talk your way into fights. You would have to climb the ladder the true way to prove yourself as the best mixed martial artist on the planet. And the next final thing that would be out as well, interim belts, get rid of them. To be honest, I think that's just a gimmick to make fans buy into the fight. When there's not actually a title shot, they put a fake title on the line so it can get views to come in and be like, oh, there's a title shot on the line. It's not a title. Oh, it's shit. <laughs> so that would be off the radar for sure. I would change that. Sounds good. Yes, Rehan. Thank you very much. Keep swiping. He's cute. Good job. Andrew Backus from Oshawa, Ontario. That's a nice place. Ha! Listen, that fight should absolutely fucking happen. They're the two top lightweights in the world. If they're the two best and they're ready to go at it, then yes, I would say sign on the dotted line and try to make the fight happen. But prep another top lightweight to be in the background. That way you can bring somebody in that's fully on a full training camp and have a reputable fight that people will actually care about. No disrespect to Ally Quinta. Just so happens that these guys get injured against the same opponent, which really, really sucks. You know what? At the end of the day, they're training hard. Sometimes you just can't help this shit. So I say if they're both healed up and ready to go, I say let them throw down. Absolutely. All right, guys, that's it for questions. Thank you very much, and we will see you in a few minutes after this cutscene. Peace. Good morning, subscribers. I got bad news. It's actually the end of the vlog for week 17. I have to fucking get my day started and start shooting for week 18. Oh, yeah. I know it's like confusing because you guys are not going to watch today's footage that I'm actually going to shoot for next week. It's fucking weird. Calm down. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Some of it was taken to another serious level again because we're doing a Q&A. Someone asks me a question. I just want to be wholeheartedly honest with them because it is a sport that I love. Love so much it is the sport that got me into this to begin with damn right i love you guys don't forget to smash that fucking like and subscribe button and hit the notification button okay i always want you guys to be in the fucking loop i love you guys and we will see you for week 18 